In this video, you will learn how to successfully apply Dynock brand architectural finishes to columns. This video shows the film installation only at the bottom of a column. Keep in mind that when installing the film on a column, you will trim and squeegee a couple of inches at the bottom, and then repeat these steps at the top as you work around the column. Some illustrations in this video will help demonstrate this. Before applying film, always clean the substrate to be sure it is free of dust and contaminants. Wipe with a solution of 70% isopropyl alcohol and 30% water and wipe dry. Be sure your hands are clean and free of dirt and lotions to avoid contaminating the adhesive. And always work on a clean surface and with clean tools. You will need a flexible tape measure, a metal ruler to use as a cutting guide, a cutting tool with break-off blades, a 3M brand applicator PA1 Gold Squeegee, a liner cutter. This tool has a guide under the blade that slips between the film and liner, so you cut only through the liner. One option is Seam Buster, a product from Advanced Equipment Manufacturing. It's available online and at many hardware and home improvement stores. 3M brand adhesion promoter. 3M's Primer 94 is a solvent-based product. One inch wide Scotch brand masking tape and some clean disposable cotton gloves. Measure the circumference and height of the column. Cut the film to the width of the circumference plus one more inch. Cut the length of the film to the height of the column plus one more inch. Using the liner cutter, cut a four inch wide strip through the liner only in the approximate center of the film panel, but don't remove the liner yet. While the film is still lying on the cutting surface, make a notch at both the bottom and the top of the 4 inch strip. Starting 1 half inch from the edge of the film, make a 45 degree outward diagonal cut. Repeat for the other side of the 4 inch strip. Now cut between the top of the diagonal cuts and remove the notch of film. Repeat these steps for the top of the film. Roll back a few inches of the center piece of liner and crease with your finger. Position the film on the column so the edge of the bottom notch is aligned horizontally with the base of the column and the film is in good vertical alignment. Notice that the film on each side of the notch flares out onto the floor. Although not seen in this video, you will also align the edge of the notch with the top of the column. Smooth the film with your hand using care not to crease or wrinkle the film. For most installers, we recommend using a squeegee to firmly adhere the film to the column where the adhesive is exposed. Some experienced installers with strong hands may prefer to use a gloved hand, as shown in the video. Working around a column creates stress on the film at the top and bottom. To reduce the stress on the film and ensure a good application, you apply only two inches of film width at a time. Working first at the bottom of the column, Use the squeegee as a guide to trim short pieces of film along the floor, and then use the squeegee to adhere the film. These short cuts reduce stress on the film. Now repeat these steps at the top of the column. Re-squeegee the applied film before continuing. Remove a few more inches of liner, squeegee the film to the column, and again, trim short pieces of film at the bottom and then the top of the column. Now, re-squeegee the applied film. You will use the same procedures for the other side of the column. There will be a one inch overlap of film with exposed adhesive where the film meets at the back of the column. Apply a strip of masking tape along the length of the seam, 
one inch from the edge that is adhered to the column. Make sure the tape is as straight as possible. Apply adhesion promoter to the narrow strip of film next to the tape. Do not brush the adhesion promoter past the tape. Allow it to dry for 5 to 15 minutes. Holding the unapplied film away from the column, remove the masking tape. Squeegee the film to the column, working in narrow sections from the applied area out to the edge. Go over the edges with a squeegee several more times. To finish the application, use your gloved hand to check for bubbles or wrinkles over the seam and then over the entire column. Work out any bubbles to the nearest edge with a squeegee. With these expert techniques, you can wrap any column with 3M's Dynock brand architectural finishes. Please see our website for more videos on applying 3M's Dynock brand architectural finishes.